We just made this bottle top Plinko. You'd think I'd be able to do it. Oh, shots. <laughs> <laughs> Using nothing but light burn, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder, to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're not playing any games. But we're making a game. <laughs> we're gonna make a great game that will sell great and it's got a great profit margin. This is a great game that can be used for a Father's Day gift, birthday gift, graduation gift. It's a perfect gift for any beer lover. Yeah. We'll show you how to use the website Maker Case and Lightburn to make this great bottle cap game. It's Beer Plinko. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF. I wanted this thing to be sturdy enough where I could actually pop a top. I needed some clear acrylic. I wanted to be able to see my bottle cap tumble and fall. And then <laughs> <laughs> I needed some eighth inch birch just to finish off that frame on the outside so I can't see the glue through the clear acrylic. And then we'll need some stain. We're going to use a light stain and a dark stain to give this some dimension. We're going to need our Starbond thick glue and of course a little bottle cap opener to attach to the front of it. And that is it. Step two, we're going to make all of our cuts. But first we have to stop by the website makercase.com. Help us cheat a little bit. Makercase.com is a great place to come to start with a box. We're going to use a basic box. Let's make sure we're using our units as inches. And then I'm going to want to start with an inside dimensions of this box. So I'm going to select inside. My inside is going to be 8.5 inches wide. My height is going to be 18 inches. And then my depth, I just want it 1.5 inches. So there's my box. But I'm gonna use one quarter inch MDF or 0.36. I want it to be a closed box and I want finger joints. So this thing will be kind of sturdy. And then it, the basic finger joint width is 0.73. I can move this box around and check it out before I download it. I just click and drag it around. Get a good 3D view of this thing. Top, bottom, sides. Looks good to me. We're going to download this box. Now, I don't actually need these labels on the box, so I'm going to disable the labels. And then I'm going to download this as an SVG. Inside Lightburn, we're going to import our box that we just made. An SVG. Now we don't need a top to this thing. Well, let's ungroup this thing first. Arrange. Yeah, it's ungrouped. We don't need a, a real top to this thing. I'm not going to top it. That's where the bottle opener is going to go. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. And while this piece is selected, I'm going to go over here to my nodes. I can edit my nodes. Now if I hover over it, it'll tell me what all of my little shortcut keys will do as I'm hovering over that piece. So I'm going to delete some nodes. So I'm going to use D. I'm going to come over here and just start hover and delete in some nodes. I'm going to delete all of the nodes that create the top piece. And do the same for this piece. I'm going to click on it. Over D. Let's do the same to the other side as well. One doesn't work. Let's go down to the other top piece. We'll select it. Select our nodes. D. 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 I'm not going to mess with this piece. I might just make a copy of the top piece and make it my back piece. All right, so let's use my select tool again. We'll go to the back. Now we're gonna make we're gonna make some little peg holes so that this thing will actually like fall down like Plinko. So I'm gonna make a little box, a little tiny box. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I want this box to be 
2.36. Actually, I'm gonna make this box 0.246 since it said my MDF was 0.36, 0.236. I'm gonna make mine just slightly bigger so I, I can get the pegs in and out a little bit. Remember the box said my MDF was 0.236. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my box slightly bigger, my little peg hole, and I'm gonna make that 2.46. Oops, there you go. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm going to turn it on its side, 45, so I'm going to hold shift and click it up. I guess it's on its 90. Let's make this like green so I can see it, or blue so I can see it. Yeah, there you go. All right, now we're going to use the repeat tool to create the little grid. Little four across, four, and oh, seven up. That's a lot. All right, now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna shift this row by half. So it kind of offset everything. We have, so it's two inches or two and a quarter inches in between them here. And I have an inch and a quarter between them this way. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna draw a circle. This is going to be our fake coin for a minute. We'll make this 1.2. Oops, control Z. I'm going to drag my circle. Let's make sure it'll go through. Yeah, it goes through. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That'll put shrink all the way down. Cool. All right, we have some outliers. Let's get rid of these guys. I'm going to select them all while holding shift, delete. I'm going to start at the bottom left. I'm going to start at the bottom right and select everything going up and to the left. That way, anything that I touch, it selects. Control G to group them. All right, I have those. Now let's make the little pegs that go in the holes. So I'm going to draw a box. And my box is going to be... Make this box. I'm going to take off the aspect ratio so I'm able to actually manipulate the numbers to this box. I'm going to make my my peg 1.74 wide and then I'm going to make it 0 0.236 tall. There we go. Let's move this down here. I'm going to use my repeat tool again. How many of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 14, 21, 25, 25 pegs. So I'm just gonna come up. Oops, take that off. Let's bring this down to Oops, control Z. Let's try again. Go back in. Let's we'll say I want 25 pegs. All right, pegs. Got my pegs, got my holes, and I have a flat top on this thing. Now let's make the divider at the bottom. So we'll get this out of the way for now. And we'll use this as our bottom. We'll bring it up here. And we'll use this as our dividers. Let's zoom in again. I'm going to use this piece as my little dividers that go so that my uh, bottle cap will drop into a little cubby or a little slot. I'm going to use this as my dividers. So to do that, let's draw a box over top of it. Now I'm going to select this bottom piece and then I'm going to select the box I just made and we'll go a minus front. There we go. This is my little tab. Now I'm going to go back into the nodes and we're going to remove some nodes. Let's zoom in. So we'll hover and 
now tap D, 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 D. Oh, let's take off the top. D, D. I'm going to move this node down here, so I'm going to hold shift. And it should lock into place when it's directly horizontal and vertical. So it kind of snaps, holding shift, snap it. All right, there you go, I got one divider. So let's put this divider down here. Control C, Control V to make a copy. We'll make another copy, and I'm gonna use this copy to know where my little slots will go. So to make my slots, I'm gonna draw another box. In this box, I'm going to make a little bit wider than I know the tabs are going to be. So the width is going to be 0.246. And then the height is going to be, well, we know that our tabs were 0.73 coming out of the box maker. So I'm going to go 0.74. All right, there's our little box. I'm going to make a few of these. I'm going to need well, five of them because I'm going to need three dividers. So I'm going to use my repeat tool again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to drag this guy over here up against the edge. It should snap. I'm going to drag this guy over here up against this edge. Let's snap, zoom in a little bit. All right, that's good enough. Let's get this guy out of the way for a second. I'm going to select this box, this box, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Let's make sure they're aligned center. And now I'm going to distribute them horizontally on center. So this guy in the middle is on center. Now I don't need these guys anymore on the ends. I was using, just using those to line them up. Delete. Let's select these three and we'll group them. <clears throat> now I need to know where to put these tabs. So that's why I got this guy. Um, this is actually gonna go into the bottom slot. This tab right here will actually slide into these tabs. So let's turn it on, it's 90. I'm going to line this with the bottom. Let's go ahead and group those. Control G. And then I'll grab this piece and this piece. And I'm going to say align bottom. There. Now I know these slots should line. Ooh, man, that was pretty close. Whoops, that was even worse. But let's just move these down a smidge. I don't think I'm going to get any better than that. I mean, oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. I did get better than that. All right, sweet. <clears throat> so those are there now. Now my slots are there. So let's go ahead and select everything. And we'll go Control U to ungroup. I'm going to grab this group. I'm going to stay right over the middle. Control C, Control V. Now I'm going to hold Shift and drag them down. Let's recenter this. Hold Shift and drag them down. Now here's my divider over here again. We'll turn it back on its 90. Okay. Line him up. I mean, that's pretty center. What if I just grab these and said line center? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much center. All right, there's my tabs. There's my slots. There's my slots. Okay, group these now. Let's go ahead and group all of this stuff again. Group. All right, everything there is good to go. 
let's go ahead and make all of these whoop, let's go ahead and make all of these uh our red layer now red. so everything there is going to get cut out these can be red also red it's all cut now all right let's go back to our front piece Let's see. Let's, let's turn this green so we can see it. And we're going to line this up over top of this piece here. Let's just grab these both. Center. All right, now for, let me make a copy before I copy paste. Before I destroy it, I want to have a second second version. All right, so this piece is going to be let's let's make it blue. This blue piece here is going to be my acrylic. I made it blue because it's like see through. So I'm going to make another box over top of this box. We'll come down. I just want the acrylic over the peg pieces so that the bottle cap doesn't come tumbling out. I'm gonna copy paste. We'll put that one down at the bottom. Again, I just don't want the bottle caps to come tumbling out. All right, so I'm gonna select this piece and then the top piece and we'll say a minus top. And then we'll keep that piece selected and select the bottom piece and we'll say Minus top. I'll zoom in and get rid of some nodes. D. Great. Grab my select tool again. Now this should be my plexiglass piece. Now I want a frame for the top. I want a frame for the top of it so that I can hold in the acrylic and kind of cover up that glue. It's going to get hazy underneath the acrylic. It's just going to look bad. So I want to finish it off with a little frame at the top. Oh, let me move. Before I move this blue piece, I'm going to do this piece. That way I know where this piece was. Let's start by doing this. I'm going to draw a box down the middle. This will be my frame frame piece. To help cover up the glass. And the acrylic. Drag this down and give it a little lip so it will catch the bottle cap when it falls. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny lip. All right, let's grab all this stuff. We'll align the center. All right, and then I'm going to select the green. I'm selecting the green layer. And then I'm going to select the blue layer too, and minus front. And I got a little frame. Now I'm going to need to make a second frame that's just pieces so that it will kind of even out the acrylic. So right where the acrylic is, let me draw a box where the acrylic is. It should snap to that box. Okay. Snap to the box. All right. Now I'm going to grab that green piece and then that new box we just made. Okay, let me make the blue box a little bit wider. Make sure we capture it. Now I'm going to select the green and then the blue box and minus front boom now i should have some frame pieces so let's ungroup these control u drag them over here let's turn this sideways so we'll cut them all out of the eighth inch birch this is all out of eighth inch birch And this is going to be out of my acrylic. And then let's bring this piece over here. All right, let's see what we got now. 
recenter. Control A to select everything. Let's drag it down. All right. Take this piece, turn it sideways. Oops. Turn it sideways. Put it up here. These little tabs. Drag these sideways. Put them up here. Let's put my coin over here. Now this is ready to cut. We are ready to go. So I can cut my acrylic piece. I can cr cut my Baltic birch pieces. And then these are all my MDF pieces. But I want to zhuzh it up just a little bit. So I'm going to grab all these, slide these over. I mean, I could be done, but I want to zhuzh it up. Drag this over in the middle. And I already have some, some zhuzh. So I'm just going to go grab those real quick. SVG, I'll drag it in. So I made a frame and a backer already. So here's my backer. Here's my little frame that I'm going to put over it. Let's group all these. You know, just to give it a little spice. It's going to be hanging on the wall. I don't want it to look uh, like it belongs on a desktop. <laughs> All right, so I gotta grab the piece I just put in. Let's get my coin out of the way. Get out of here, coin. We'll grab both of these pieces and we'll center them. So they should be grouped. All right, let's zoom in and check it. All right, I got my corners looking good. Whoa, oh, there's two zoomed. All right, everything looks centered. All right, let's move these away from this. All right, let's go cut. Let's go get these things cut. And I'm going to cut on my 100 watt laser. And I am also going to cut on the polar laser. I think I'm going to do the acrylic and Baltic birch on the polar and everything else out of my 100 watt. Meet you at the laser. Step three, time to stain. We're gonna stain the backers and the sides. We're gonna use two colors of stain because we have the backer that's engraved here. Feels really cool. We're gonna use a light color stain because I really want the engraving to stand out and I don't wanna hide it with a dark stain. However, for the box on the sides, it comes together like this. Let's see if I can show them quickly. And you can see the burnt edges here, every other one. And it looks a little like checkers. Once you put the whole thing together, it, you can see burnt edges on the top and bottom. So we're going to paint this or stain this one in a dark colored stain to kind of make that visual distinction between each of the burnt and not burnt edges. We're going to do that dark so that it all comes together and then we're going to do this light. So I think it's going to give it a cool finish because it's going to be two colors yeah, to stain. Be dimensional. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Step four, time to assemble it. We're gonna bring it all together with some of this Starbond Thick. It's like a gap filler. It should hold everything. All right, we're gonna build from the bottom up. Uh, this lays down and then we're gonna kind of build the box onto the backer, right? Yeah, I'm gonna build the box.
So we have this plexiglass that I want to put just in the middle, but I want to continue a frame all around it without the frame looking all wonky. So I did cut out these little pieces that are like gap fillers, spacers, that'll fit in so that my top frame continues to look nice and neat. So each of these little notches are a quarter inch and he's filling half of it with eighth inch um, acrylic and then the other half is going to have an eighth inch spacer so that when we lay the top frame on it's all level. Teamwork. Look at that. Oh, wait. Forgot to put the pegs in. Gotta throw the pegs in. Time to test it. I have a bottle. I'm ready to go. Kim's gonna hold it. We're gonna see uh, if it works. All right, you gotta do whatever it says. All right. Oh, tiny sips. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen these go anywhere from $35 to $105 for about something this size. All in on materials for us was $11. It was like a one hour cut time, but a lot of that was engraving. So I think all in it was like 25, 26 bucks. And uh, I think we could probably sell this for about 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, I think it looks nice. It's a pretty good profit margin. What'd you say? What do you say? It's a good chunk of change. <laughs> now we've had a debate. This is a wall version. This is meant to hang on the wall. Oh, tiny sips. Oh, tiny sips. It only does tiny sips, so that you don't have to give yeah. away too much. I don't beer. want. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get get too crazy too fast. <laughs> so we've seen. So this is the wall version. We've seen a tabletop version, and actually, Garrett and I have been debating this whole project as to whether we should do a wall version or a tabletop version. So you guys, give me your vote. Do you well, think I think if it's going to be in a bar, it should be on the wall. But if you're just going to give it as a gift, should it be a tabletop? I don't know. What do you think? A tabletop or a wall? I vote wall. She votes tabletop. I vote tabletop. All right. Well, we've put this file in our store, so you can download that at kngmakeit.com. I but I think you can totally pull this off using Lightburn. I mean, you saw it. It wasn't that hard. Lightburn's got a ton of tools in there to help you with your design work, so... I don't even think you you need it. You could do it yourself. But if you can't do it yourself, we do have the file available in the store. We are about out of time. We have to go pop some bottles. You have to go make something. So we will see you next Friday where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And don't forget to join us on Tuesday where we do a little test cut Tuesday. We try out a new file, paint it, see if it goes together first try like that balance.